What's going on, y'all? What's going on, man? Your boy is back with some news. So if y'all didn't know, Hyundai recently dropped a new Elantra N. And this is going to be the TCR edition. So this car is basically all the knowledge and all the, basically the winnings that they got from racing. So they said they're going to bring all that knowledge to us now. So for the year 2025, we're going to be able to buy a TCR edition Elantra N. Yeah. Yo, this car is exciting, man. It's it's lit. That's the word for it. It's lit. So this car is mad nice, man. It's basically a more track-focused version of, you know, the Elantra N. What we got going on right now. So more track-focused one. And yeah, man, I'm going to show you all the video and we'll talk about it. Legacy cannot be rushed. It can't be bought. It must be earned. Hyundai Elantra NTCR, winning the international touring car competitions. Ultra and TCR edition. Motorsport excitement. Two roads, two years. Our motorsport legacy is proof of our commitment for better technology, more excitement, and for all drivers. Experience your full potential. Ignite the moment of victory. The Elantra N TCR Edition. As I can see in the video, man, this car is really exciting, man. Even though it's pretty similar to what we got going on right now for the 2024, but that new TCR edition really brings you like a really track focused car. So that's like a type or killer, you know, any type of car that type S can get it to, <laughs> you know. Any type of car that goes on the track can get smoked with that TCR edition, man. They not playing. Hyundai's not playing, man. And from what I heard, not from what I heard, but as y'all can see in this video, Hyundai has won the championship three times in a row. All right? So they not playing no games. You know, they, they came to play and they play. All right? They came to play, man. But yeah, man, that car looked pretty exciting, man. And um, let's talk about the um, the upgrades that you know you guys saw in the video. So the first thing that I noticed was um, the wing. It's pretty obvious, man. It's a carbon fiber wing, swan neck GT wing, basically. And it, it looks pretty nice on the car, I ain't gonna lie. So the wing that we have right now, like on the regular Lentras, right? It's really too small for the car, man. It's okay, but if you really look at it, man, it just doesn't match. It doesn't match <laughs> with the car. So that wing, I might be getting that wing. It's pretty nice. Even though I don't like big wings, but I just feel like the wing that they got on the Elantra um, TCR really matches the proportion of the car and probably really functional too. They're not going to put it on there if it's not functional. So it really looks like a good functional wing and it just matches the look of the car so I'm probably gonna get that wing if I can but yeah man that wing looked pretty nice and then the second thing I noticed was the big brakes so on the TCR edition you get the end performance you know upgraded brakes it looks pretty nice 
looks like brain balls and then um right in front of that brain you can see the forge wheels so they got a new design probably lighter forge wheels for the t-star edition looks pretty good man all right so from the outside that's all i can see in terms of like upgrades you know the the new forge wheels the brakes and then the wing so when you go when we go on the inside before we go into the cabin let's go on the inside of the engine bay so what they got under that under the hood is a uh, and performance intake you know i've never really seen like I, I don't know like what um what that intake improves if it's just airflow if you get extra horsepower from that intake but it looks pretty good you know it's a nice looking intake pretty chill I don't know if you get any sounds from it I gotta look into that but yeah so you get an end performance intake under the hood and then on the uh, on the cabin of the car you get the blue seat belt now they coming back with the blue seat belt and then a nice Alcantara um, stitch steering wheel so you get the end blue performance stitched steering wheel with the um, Alcantara or all Alcantara and then you get the um, the end performance stripe blue stripe right here so center stripe it's pretty cool it's pretty cool it's a nice steering wheel and then um yeah man so you get the steering wheel the blue seat belt what else do you get on the inside I think that's it that's it that's what they added in the inside yeah I don't think they added anything else yes yeah, the steering wheel and the blue seat belt but yeah, man, I mean, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool that Hyundai is actually doing this. And I don't think it's just a, you know, a cosmetic, you know, trim they trying to put out there. Or like a track um, upgrade, you know, type of Elantra amp. And I, I hope it's not just that. I hope they're going to, you know, put more power into the Elantra amp. From what I've seen, their um, TCR race car has more power. It's not just a stock. They're not just racing a stock, you know, Elantra N. They they tuned it. They worked on it, you know, upgrades. They done upgrades, even the exhaust. I saw exhaust on that on that car. So, and from what I read, it said that that car has 350 horsepower and then 400, uh, you know, power for the torque. So. Hopefully there's, you know, a power upgrade to that TCR edition, you know, with all that track upgrade. So yeah, man, hopefully we see that. Hyundai is not playing, you know, and I'm all in for that, man. I'm all in for that. I love what they doing, especially with the EV, with the EV cars. I love what they doing, man. I'm not a fan of EVs, but, but the Ionic 5 N is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. That Hyundai 5 n is looking pretty good, right? <laughs> All right, man. So just stay tuned on the channel to see, you know, what I do. You know, I'm probably gonna get that seatbelt, the wing, you know, probably the um the brakes. Yeah. So stay tuned. And if you wanna see um whatever mods I did so far to this car. Just click on the video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a video on the screen. I can just click on it and go straight to that video. So that's basically all the mods I did so far to my car. And there is more in coming, man. Don't worry, man. I got more mods coming to this car. I'm just putting everything together right now. We're just getting everything together, all right? So I got more mods coming. Just stay tuned and click on that video, man, to see what I did so far, all right? 